Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today we're going to go over case statements. And case statements, in my opinion, are probably one of the more important facets of, of daily SQL Server management, querying data, um, augmenting data for SQL Server reporting services within views and everything like that. So let's jump into right now a couple of views within a couple of different viewpoints of SQL um, case statements. So here we have one of our first ones, use AdventureWorks, select vacation hours, and then this is, this is um, I don't even need to pull this, this isn't even necessary for my case statement, this is just for a comparison down here, and then this is my vacation analysis plan, right? Um, now if I deleted this bracket and this bracket, this would suddenly stop working. Why? Because I have a space in this column, so I have to have brackets given that I have this space here. So vacation analysis equals case when, that's how they always begin, equals case when vacation hours here between 40 and 70. And remember with between statements they need to be, um, given the, the, the follow up to this that I have, when vacation hours are greater than 70 then get a life. If you do um, between 70 and 40, um, between statements work best when you when you're, when you're going numerically from low to big, not from big to low. Okay, um, so here then single single quotation overdue for vac for vacation, and then we have um, when you just keep on adding when statements. SQL Server allows for ten nested case statements, which is uh, this when word wording right here, um, and then we have uh, uh, one final one get a life, else, which is how they always have to end, not yet to, and they always have to end with the word end, okay, and then we reference our table, all right, so if we run this, we get this, right, now, if I was to cut this out of here, okay, and delete this, boom, boom, cut this out, delete that, now, this has suddenly become an update case when statement, okay? So if I run this now, all right, let's see here. Invalid name, business entity ID, all right? So we're just going to delete this and run this, okay? So here we go, it's finished. 238 rows affected and it's been updated. All right. Now if I go and I go back with this, I'll now see that a lot of these vacation hours have now been augmented by my previous statement right here. Okay. Now let's go into another case statement. And this is a really a common one. I, I use this today actually um, for a real world situation. Um, uh, case when doing a report um, case when C title is null, and that's one of the other facets you, you can you can reference is null, then terminated, else employed. Obviously, this, these weren't variables I was using or anything like that. But um, so, and if I wanted to add an alias, and the alias again is just the title of the column. Okay, so I'll put employment status. Okay, if I was to run this again. Boom, obviously this gets broken out by that. Okay? And these always start with case when and they always end with end. That's the most important facet of this. Um, and they always generally have an else statement. I mean when you're writing it for, for actual use, you're gonna have an else statement. Okay. Um, here we have a like clause, we have a single quote, we have G followed by by a percentage sign, which indicates a wildcard. So G and any letters past that. If I was to put a wildcard here, um, it would uh, obviously take anything that had the word G in it, period. Um, so here we go. Um, let's click off of that. Um, anyway, oh, this guy's pinging me. Um, so then we have here, G, else Gilbert, then totally not Gilbert. I can rename that if I wanted to as well. We go on to the next one. Um, this is our final one. It's actually one of the more easy ones. Um, 
and this is a regional reference manager location case when manager ID equals 100 and manager ID equals 10 in Europe Middle East else Asia Europe okay and this is referencing the manager ID here and making a geolocation whatever you want to call it on that okay so that's all it was and to be honest I get all of my stuff from MSDN so when you're done with this video go right to MSDN it's linked at the bottom along right with the case statements and you'll see all of these things that you guys can do right now and start trying them out thanks so much